Uh, for quite a number of years, I have uh, had confusion on my exact reality. Um, um, an example of a, uh, of, okay, uh, the Truman Show reflects an example of a, uh, of a strange reality. You know, he's like, you know, he's, he's like, gradually he picks up that something's not quite right about my life. You know what I'm saying? My reality is just not quite right. And then eventually he discovers he's in a little a bubble on, and he's on TV. So, Terry, me, uh, there's just something not right about my reality. And, uh, I don't have any, I don't have any, um, you know, maybe one day he came up with the conception, hey, what if I'm like in a bubble and there's cameras, and he had this conception that explained his reality. What I need is some concept of what my reality is, you know what I mean? For, for the Truman Show guy, his answer was, He's on a TV show and they're taking cameras of him. For Terry, I have zero conception of what my reality is. I don't know. The simplest thing is I'm a person who's on disability and uh, I drive around in my car and I buy food and I sleep in a campground. And once in a while I talk to a person in a store. I ask them for, you know, I buy a, make a purchase of of soda or something, buy some cigarettes. Um, but then it starts getting strange. Like, uh, like, uh, why does the radio seem to talk to me? Like when I say stuff here, in the re or, um, when I talk to myself, um, the radio seems to, uh, respond. Now it, Perhaps uh, I have to explain that when it responds, it's, it's sort of like in, uh, a sort of a code. Now, uh, um, <clears throat> so what do I mean by that? Um, when they say one thing, I interpret it as though they're speaking in code, speaking something else. And that something else is a response to what I just said. So, uh, um, that's kind of the simplest thing. And then you start getting like the YouTube videos are popping up based on what I say here. Like in the YouTube uh, feed box. Okay. And, uh, you know, the internet sites I go to are supposed to be somewhat comprehensive and, and yet they look uh, like a very very tiny world and uh, when I walk the streets I get a very vague sense that um, I'm not just some stranger you know I get a very vague sense that uh, I'm somebody I, I, that they're interacting with, you know, like for example, a reality TV star or something. They, um, <coughs> <coughs> I get a vague sense. Maybe that's what I am. Maybe I'm imagining it. So uh, basically, uh, it goes on and on and on. Uh, yeah, my whole reality is very confusing. I, I'm really, no, I don't really have a choice. You know, sometimes I think uh, that uh, as you mature, you just, you know, they speak of heaven as a cloud. You know, uh, if you if you can imagine walking around on some crazy, like you look down and like it's fog, but somehow you're walking around. Maybe that's reasonable. I don't know. It's pretty weird. So, uh. There's always the uh, desire to make it real, you know. But, uh, you know, after 20 years, it doesn't seem to get real. And uh, 
the whole time there's been a uh, a verge of uh, making it big. For the past 20 years, I've been like, oh great, uh, now I'm finally they're finally understanding that I have a space alien. The whole world will know. So uh, yeah, I'm really. Uh, Um, let's just say I'm walking in the air and I have, and somehow I'm floating in them way up in the air and I have no idea what's under me. I mean, it's just imagine you're just like walking around up in like the sky or some crazy shit. You say, why am I walking around in the sky? How come I'm not falling? And like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm just saying? It's kind of like, this is completely fucked. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you, you're like walking around, somehow you're like walking and it's the goddamn sky, and like your feet are just not falling, and like you're just like, you kind of learn how to live life up here, like, oh, that's weird, uh, I guess there's where I get my food, I don't know, some jets and shit, uh, that's getting a little carried away, but like, <laughs> well, this is very strange, I have no no understanding, you know, I used to need an understanding, it wasn't normal for a person to be way up in the sky, like when I was a kid. But this is weird because this is like normal now. And it really, I really don't have any. Um, so, so uh, if you had any idea how, uh, how confused I was and yet how I just carry on, you know, fuck it. I guess you get used to being absolutely batshit crazy. And you just live, you know. You're kind of like, oh, well, that's that's unusual. A stranger in a strange land or some shit. Well, I guess this is the way you uh, do the moonwalk, like floating in the air or some shit. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to go over to that fucking fruit tree, fruit, fruit tree and get my fruit because I figured that's out. Uh, this reality is sort of familiar, but it's really fucking completely blows my mind. Like, I, I can sort of, like, maybe I can wave my hands and for some reason it makes me, uh, let's say, shoot up or some shit. I don't know. But you kind of figure this shit out, and it's like, I have no fucking clue. I just did that, and I have no clue what's going on. And I'm just absolutely just mind completely destroyed, blown, you know. And somehow I kind of like just just deal with it, you know, trying to stay happy. You know, maybe I, it's kind of like yelling at a wall for a long time and like a, a dog barking at the moon. Why the fuck's it do that, you know? Why do I fucking yell at the thin air, you know? It's the crazy shit. The crazy people on the street, they're yelling at nothing, and they must be perceiving an answer, and it's, it's all very kind of fucked. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs>